And we are inching closer to an era of urban air mobility here in Korea as test flights are scheduled to take off in the greater metropolitan region starting this summer. Our Chung Wonju has details. The UAM named OPATH, developed with technology by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, has successfully completed a test flight. Until now, UAM test flights have taken place in non-urban areas, such as the reclaimed land in Kohung, Jeollanamdo province. However, starting this year, test flights will also be conducted in metropolitan areas. From August, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport will begin the second stage of the demonstration plan of connecting suburban and urban areas in the capital region, starting near the Ara Waterway in Incheon's Keang district. By 2025, the testing stage will expand to skies over the Han River, connecting Yeoido, Kinteksen Koyang and Kimpo Airport, and further linking Tamsil and Suso via Tancheon. The essence of urban air transportation is to bring air traffic, which used to be for long-distance travel, into our daily lives in the city and make it more convenient to move around. This year, UAMs ambitiously developed by South Korean corporate consortia will also take to the skies for refinement. South Korea has entered a competition for demonstration projects with other major countries such as the United States, France and the United Kingdom. Not only the UAMs, but also all the services necessary for actual operations such as vertiports and traffic management are now being looked into. Following this, the Korea Augmentation Satellite System, or CAS, which reduces location error significantly compared to GPS signals, is expected to contribute to achieving the goal of UAM commercialization in 2026. Tong Eun-ju, Arirang News.